This is ABC 7 News at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Peter Dubois. We're now into day two of a serious heat wave, which has pushed temperatures to dangerous levels across our region. So with that in mind, let's turn things right over to Chase Ropenak with the first check of our forecast. Thanks, Peter. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Jordan's Furniture. It's not just a store, it's an experience. All right, we're in the middle of a massive heat wave right now. As you can see, we have an excessive heat warning extending from Bangor down to the southwestern part of the state. We do have some severe thunderstorm warnings there as well. Those could arrive in those uh, afternoon to evening hours, and we do have an air quality alert as well, as, uh, as well. So we do have a lot going on in the state of Maine right now. Highs today, just a few degrees below the record high. We had a, a high of 95 in Bangor today. Very hot temperatures throughout much of the state as well. Lots of mid 90s as we have this heat wave entering the state as of today, and it's going to linger into tomorrow as well. So let's take a look at tomorrow's temperatures just near uh, today's temperatures high of 94 tomorrow around 1 p.m. And those could get hotter as well around 95 96 uh, degrees just around that record high temperature of 97. So with that being said, the sun is going to be shining very bright tomorrow. The UV index is going to be very high at 9. Burn time could be less than 10 minutes. Very important to have a hat, sunglasses, and sunscreen to protect your skin. And if you are outside, you should be limiting your time outdoors. But if you are, please spend your time in some shady areas to protect yourself from the sun. Overnight planner for tonight looks like we're going to have some clouds throughout the night, and it's going to be a very, very warm night with temperatures hovering around the mid 70s throughout the night. And then looks like we'll be jumping back up into those warmer temperatures tomorrow around the 90s, around 8 to 9 a.m. tomorrow. Peter. All right, so not much relief overnight. And if you're having trouble staying cool, we do want to remind you that there are several cooling centers still open tomorrow. The two largest being the Cross Insurance Center in Bangor and the Augusta Civic Center. We'll have a list of other cooling center options posted on our website, foxbangor.com. And while firefighters are often exposed to extreme temperatures, they are not immune to the effects of this heat wave. Our Grace Blanchard caught up with the Bangor Fire Department to see how they've been preparing to face the weather. We've had a very busy morning uh, with several calls, mostly coming in being reported as laid out in the sun. So. As temperatures peak well above 90 degrees across the state, firefighters are on alert for an increase in heat-related calls. We deal with hypothermia most of the year here in Maine, but today it's hyperthermia. Bangor's assistant fire chief says their team started preparing for this hot stretch days in advance. Drinking extra water and fluids to come, come to work hydrated and prepared for the shift. All the fire trucks are stocked with extra water coolers to ensure that the staff stays safe and hydrated. Just knowing if there's a fire or a manpower intensive emergency, everybody will be consuming several bottles of water instead of one or two. While battling fires, Emery says they are often exposed to 200 to 300 degree temperatures while carrying the weight of 30 to 40 pound gear. If there was a fire today, we'd be more apt to call for our extra crews a little quicker than normal, just so we keep that rotation up and knowing that our guys are not going to be able to uh, go full tilt for an hour straight. They encourage people to take advantage of the local cooling centers and of course, stay hydrated in Bangor. Grace Blanchard, ABC 7 and Fox 22 News. And on top of the extreme heat, many Mainers are also contending with a drop in air quality. According to the Maine Department of Environmental Protection, ozone concentrations along Maine's coast reached potentially unhealthy levels for sensitive groups. Additionally, particle pollution was moderate across the state. Air quality experts suggest people slow down and avoid strenuous activities while we experience these conditions. We encourage people to reduce their level of exertion about it. When you're exerting yourself, you're breathing more heavily, you're breathing more deeply, you're increasing the amount of air you're bringing in, which means you're also increasing the amount of pollution you're bringing in. The main DEP expects a front to push through the region on Thursday, which will hopefully improve air quality across our state. You can visit the main DEP's website for any updates to the forecast. A warmer, wetter, stormier future is what we can expect here in Maine. That's according to a new report by the Maine Climate Council. Our Augusta reporter Corey Bouchard spoke with one of the authors to learn more about what's in the 267-page report. 
Uh, and what do we know is that um, climate is continuing to warm, uh, continuing to get wetter. Uh, a lot of the trends like sea level rise and, and, and warming and sunny day flooding, the rates of these are increasing. Ivan Fernandez is the co-chair of the Maine Climate Council's Scientific and Technical Subcommittee, which recently published their 2024 report titled Scientific Assessment of Climate Change and Its Effects in Maine. He said this past year, between the back-to-back -back winter storms and our current heat wave, we can expect more to come as the planet continues to warm. Just like this winter feels like, wow, this is, you know, storm after storm um, with, you know, really uh, powerful impacts. Uh, we, we haven't recovered from the first one. We have the second one. Literally, we'll spend years recovering from just these storms uh, with more to come. Uh, and, and that is a reflection of the, the uh, driving force of climate change. Another impact the report says is that the planet will warm two degrees hotter by 2050. Fernandez says this could result in significant changes to Maine's coastline. The sea level rise um, will continue to uh, both increase and potentially accelerate, uh, outpacing our ability to adapt. And so we need to be thinking about that uh, in, in that kind of context. The report ends with a final chapter looking towards the future. Uh, that we did that because hope, yeah, it's an emotion, it's a, you know, uh, feel good thing, but hope is also a science. And what we're pointing to is that the science of hope uh, means that we need to know all this stuff. And a lot of times people say to the scientists, all the bad stuff, true. Um, and yet um, there's certainly reason for hope. Uh, to read the full report, you can visit our website. In Augusta, I'm Corey Bouchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News. In other news tonight, emergency crews rescued a Waterville man who broke his ankle while hiking in the Gulf Hagus area on Sunday evening. According to Mark Lottie with the Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, 38-year-old Joshua Steele was hiking the Rim Trail near the Jaws waterfall with some friends when he slipped on a rock and broke his ankle. One of his friends hiked out of the woods to call for help. Game wardens responded with several volunteers from the Appalachian Mountain Club. They were also assisted by Greenville Fire and Rescue and the ambulance crew from C.A. Dean Hospital. Medical personnel carried Steele through two miles of rugged terrain in the dark of night. He was then transported out of the rest of the woods by a game warden ATV, where an ambulance was waiting to take him to the hospital for further treatment. Governor Mills, the first governor to acknowledge Juneteenth as a paid state holiday, issued a statement honoring Juneteenth today. It reads in part, quote, as we commemorate the day when slavery was finally ex extinguished in America and recognize the major role that more than 70,000 Union soldiers from Maine played in achieving that good, let us honor the strength of black Americans and their vast and enduring contributions to the fabric of our nation, end quote. And coming up on ABC 7 News at 6, as Juneteenth is being celebrated across the country today, our Doug Banks went to the city of Brewer to capture the experience there. And one local business owner has been supporting his community for decades, and he's stepping up once again during the heat wave today. We'll have those stories and more when we come right back. The new Hyundai Elantra with America's best warranty. There's joy in every journey. Lease a Hyundai Elantra for only $179 a month or get 3.49% APR or up to $1,500 bonus cash. See your local Bangor Hyundai dealer. On the Road, broadcasting the news at 6, live from Dover Foxcroft, is sponsored by Duncan. Come try our new energy refreshers and menu items. The Bailey family is anxious to serve you. Pet Care by Lindsay is an in-home pet care provider servicing the greater Bangor, Waterville, Ellsworth, Bar Harbor, and Midcoast areas. And McCusick Petroleum is a full-service oil and LP gas dealer. They offer service agreements and budget plans. For fences that last, call Allen Farm first. For more than 30 years, Allen Farm Fence has been putting the customer first by selling and installing the highest quality product. By providing the do it right, install to last, make the customer smile type service. For vinyl, wood, or steel, choose an Allen Farm Fence. Allen Farm Fence. You deserve the best. Get your free estimate today at allenfarmfence.com. The most important thing is family. AAA shares the same family values. For over 100 years, AAA has been providing legendary service and has helped what it values most, its members. 
Join our family and you could save on your auto insurance policy with our competitive pricing. Just like family, we offer you our support when you need it, whether it's questions about your policy or with our most trusted roadside assistance service. Visit AAA.com slash insurance and find out how much you could save. The Hyundai Palisade. With advanced tech and award-winning safety, there's joy in every journey. Lease an all-wheel drive Palisade SEL for only $349 a month or step up to a limited with $1250 bonus cash. See your local Bangor Hyundai dealer. You're watching ABC7 Bangor. Welcome back. People across the country gathered today to celebrate Juneteenth, and that was certainly the case in Brewer. Our Doug Banks takes us to the Chamberlain Freedom Park. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? I drove 500 miles to be here. I'm 90 years old, but I'm still rocking and reeling. How good to see you. Your music to my eyes. No more auction block for me. Like me. I have many stories to tell, many songs to sing, but too much for this day because I like to do as less as I can to give other people opportunity to do something. There are hateful people that will blow you away, wipe you out. You mean nothing to them. So don't endanger yourselves in any way for the cause that I believe in and that your presence tells me that you believe in, but keep on, keep on marching, keep on doing what you can do as a human being for your fellow human beings. Spread the loving word every opportunity you get, okay? Raise your hand if you're gonna do it. Oh, I got an army of good folk, man. I'm glad to have you on my team. Thank you, brother. Keep on singing. <laughs> oh, I just make it up as I go along as the spirit moves me. Just a beautiful message there. And down in Ellsworth, many people also gathered for their annual Juneteenth Down East commemoration. The fourth annual festival was held at Knowlton Park in Ellsworth. Organizers say this year's theme of shoulder to shoulder was meant to shed a light on the shared challenges faced by black and indigenous communities across the state. Several organizations and groups came together to share music, food and culture in the spirit of this year's theme. Juneteenth Down East also functions all year round. They have more programs that are open to the community as well. For more information on their upcoming events, you can visit our website, foxbangor.com. Well, amid those soaring temperatures we're experiencing, one local business owner has found a great way to help out his community. Joe Perry, owner of Joe's Market on Garland Street in Bangor, has been serving his community for decades now. Today, he decided he'd help people out who might not have enough money to get a cool drink. He put a cooler outside with some cold water and other goodies for anyone in need of hydration. Perry says he's been surprised by the outpouring of support from other neighbors in the Garland Street area. People will come in and want to contribute to help help keep it going. I had someone today just come in and say, geez, maybe there should be some Gatorade in there and, and threw me enough money. To, I was going up to Sam's Club to grab three cases of Gatorade. So now I'm water and Gatorade. Perry plans to keep drinks available throughout the duration of the heat wave and says if he needs to do it again later this summer, he will. Great gesture there. Well, sometimes in the game of golf, the only thing standing between the tee box and the pin is the golfer themselves. But today, the sun was a fierce competitor out on the Lucerne golf course. With temperatures well into the 90s, golfers hope their final scorecards didn't reflect the reading on the thermostat. Regular day, you're not worried about any, like, you know, you're just playing to play. But today, it's trying to, it's like competition with the heat, trying to stay on your best game. 
definitely trying to get in the shade when I can and just be out of the sun because there's like no clouds at all. Some serious heat out there today. Blair and Reese said they bought and they brought sunscreen and a lot of water to help them beat the heat and break par too. Some impressive stuff. All right, well, still to come on ABC 7 News at 6, Stonington is celebrating their first ever Puffin Festival. We'll have the details for you. And in sports, the first marathon in Bangor in nearly two decades takes place this Sunday. What the people behind it are hoping to accomplish. That story right after the break. From a humble horse and buggy beginning over 100 years ago to a fleet of modern deluxe motor coaches today, Sear North Star Tours wants to take you places. In Maine, throughout the United States, and abroad, we offer tours and day trips to suit everyone's interests and passions. Cherry blossoms in the spring, Prince Edward Island in the summer, trips to the city, trips to the shore, culture, history, music, and more. Sear North Star Tours, where can we take you? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. These local businesses would like to wish you a happy Independence Day, along with safe and fun celebrations all summer long. Welcome to the Purple Baboon, a local gem on the Belfast waterfront. Find lots of little joys for every taste, like fun clothing for the whole family and a lovely selection of coastal Maine made jewelry. The Purple Baboon, the best selection at great prices, 31 Front Street, Belfast. Vehicle running a little rough? Let DNS Auto and Brewer fix you right up. Sales and full service repair shop. Running great now. DNS Auto, 510 Wilson Street in Brewer. Building relationships through quality sales and service. We've got an all new game with a new way to play. It's Cash Pop from the Main Lottery. You just pick one number from 1 to 15. If your number's drawn, you win. Just like that, with cash prizes up to $2,500 and five drawings every day. You gotta make it pop with Cash Pop. Tonight's sports is brought to you by the KG. Stop in for hunting and fishing supplies, apparel, and homemade food. Welcome back in, everyone. Thanks for staying with us. This Sunday will mark the first marathon in the greater Bangor area in nearly 20 years as the first annual Great Bangor Marathon and Half comes to town. And organizers say it's part of a bigger mission to grow the sport. Ryan Sudal has more. It hasn't had a marathon in like 20 years, so we are excited to bring this back to the Queen City, show Bangor hospitality. Watch the road Sunday as Lifestyle Sports Global presents the inaugural Great Bangor Marathon and Half Marathon. Yeah, we're very happy about it. Uh, we, we think it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring a lot of excitement to the community and the surrounding communities of Bangor. A huge part of that excitement is that the races are USA track and field certified. A good time could land you in some of the top marathons in the world. Boston, Chicago, New York, uh, Berlin, London. This course is fast and flat out and back, really easy to qualify for these other events. We're helping people get their dreams and we're doing it through Bangor, Maine. That resulted in a huge response. Spots. Nearly 350 runners are coming from 34 states and four countries. And even as soon as next race, that could skyrocket. Bangor has an international airport. We should be doing international events here. But what's great about this is they're coming early with their family and friends to enjoy our town. And those 344 runners are going to go tell their friends and we could have a thousand runners next year. That type of growth for running in general is what race runners Laura and David McIntyre are most prideful in seeing. We want to encourage uh, people to uh, do these events, the teenagers, the 20 year olds, the 30 year olds, the 40 year olds. This is a, a, a great sport for all generations. And an event like the Great Bangor Marathon will create memories of that great sport that will last a lifetime. A father and a son, a mother and a son, they can run together. We get a picture of you coming across the finish line together. What a wonderful memory to have. 
In Bangor, I'm Ryan Sudall, ABC 7, Fox 22 Sports. We will see you at the starting line. <laughs> Thanks for that, Ryan. Looks like a blast. First annual. Let's go to the Diamond now down in Portland. Former Black Bear Nick Sinicola is back in the Pine Tree State, and he took the mound last night against the Sea Dogs. Sinicola was drafted by the San Francisco Giants and is playing for their AA affiliate, the Richmond Flying Squirrels. He tossed five innings on Tuesday, allowing just four hits and one earned run while striking out five. He's got 13 appearances this year, five starts. 5-2 and two with a 2.96 earned run average. Sinicola spent three years with the Black Bears and Hales from Southern Massachusetts. He says his time at Maine was huge for his development, and he loves pitching back in Portland where he gets loads of support at the games. It was a huge stepping stone for me. I got a lot better in my time there. Um, I enjoyed all three years there, and it, it definitely prepared me for the next level. It's a good time. It's good to have all my friends, family, and, and all of them come out and support, you know close to home they don't have to travel too far and all that so it's it's awesome to pitch in front of them and have their support at all the games all right wishing him the best of luck the rest of the way that's all the time we have for sports here's chase ropenak with your full five-day forecast chase thank you tyler tonight's main weather is brought to you by diversified ink tattoo studio in penobscot plaza in bangor providing custom ink by licensed artists for over 20 years all right, we got a lot of advisories out there right now. The main threat is that excessive heat warning that we got extending from Bangor out of, all the way down to the southwestern part of the state. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning in the southwestern part of the state as well. Those could come into our area in the uh, evening hours tonight. And we do have an air quality alert near the coastal region. So lots of active weather stuff going on right now. But as I said, main thing is the heat. Bangor with a high of 95 today, just near those record temperatures. A little cooler by the coast in the mid 80s, but as you can see uh, up north, much of the same with those mid 90s. Very, very hot out there today. And uh, talking about that heat, we do have uh, some heat dangers with this heat wave. Looks like the one of these things is going to be heat exhaustion. So let's talk about the symptoms. Faint or dizziness in the head, excessive sweating, cool, pale, clammy skin, rapid weak pulse, and muscle cramps could be some of those symptoms you experience. And if you are experiencing those, please get to some air conditioning, uh, drink lots of water, take a cool shower, and use ice packs to relieve you of those symptoms. Um, but on the more dangerous side, you could uh, have a heat stroke, and the symptoms for that would be a throbbing headache, no sweating, uh, red hot dry skin, rapid strong pulse, and you may even lose consciousness. So if that happens, please seek medical attention or call 91 as this could be a very dangerous situation with these hot temperatures. So as I said, today and tomorrow, highs of 96 degrees, very, very hot with this heat wave in the area. Then we'll finally cool off a little bit as we get into those upper 70s and low 80s. Looks like it's the most comfortable day will be on Sunday with a high of 74 degrees. So with these hot temperatures right now, lots of humidity in the area that is going to make those temperatures feel a lot hotter than they really are. You can see we're very humid right now. And then Thursday through about Saturday, into Sunday will be a little bit more comfortable, but then with those low 80s coming back Monday, we'll see some humidity spiking back up again. So make sure to stay hydrated and drink lots of water during these uh, warm temperatures in the area. And today we do have a very high UV index of nine. Burn time could be less than 10 minutes. Very, very important to protect yourself out there with hats, sunglasses, and sunscreen. Uh, you should be limiting your time outdoors, but if you are outside, make sure you're finding uh, some time in some shady areas uh, to protect yourself from the sun. Next thing we got is air quality alerts right now. We are at a moderate. Um, that's due to that heat wave right now, uh, increasing the levels of aeroallergens and air pollutants in the area. So that is something to keep an eye on uh, with this heat wave in the area. Other than that, tonight's low forecast will be a low of 71 degrees, mostly cloudy skies and winds from the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then going into tomorrow, near record highs again with a high of 96. And we do have some chances for some storms in the evening hours tomorrow. Taking a look at your extended forecast tonight. Tonight and uh, into tomorrow, that's when we're going to have the warmest days. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we do have uh, some slight chances for some storms in the area. And then 80s will arrive back on Monday. Peter? All right, Chase, thank you. That cool down is going to feel great. We have more stories coming up after the break. Stay with us. Buying a home is a big family experience. Oh, where else would you want to live? Every story is different. I grew up on another farm, and now I own my own. I got introduced to a credit union when I was in college. Whether they got one customer that day to a thousand customers that day, it feels like you are the one. The lender that you're talking to, you'll see them after work at the t-ball game. It is our dream home. It's heaven, I guess. Did you get mommy? The local credit union can give you that peace of mind from start to finish, and that's what they did here. 
we're eight miles from the easternmost point in the whole United States. First Bell moved here in 1765. Our family's been farming here ever since. Reliable power is essential on the farm. You know, you don't think about the power much until it goes out, and then you realize how much you rely on it. We've been very impressed with the ability of Versant to respond, get the power back on. Versant Power is kind of the, the silent partner keeping the farm running. Are your basement walls bowing, crumbling, or failing? Hi, I'm Tony Hafford with TC Hafford Basement Systems, all things basementy. Our stable lock wall system offers a patented, affordable, and permanent solution to save your foundation walls. It stabilizes, fills voids, and structurally repairs, leaving a new smooth surface. All the strength of new walls. Call TC Hafford Basement Systems today for all things basementy. Down to the shore or up to the mountains. Before you can get there, you've got to get here. Your Ford dealer's great American sales event with special 4th of July deals. And now get your hands on select Ford SUVs, including Bronco and Bronco Sport with standard goat modes and Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. Right now, lease a Bronco Sport for $349 a month for 24 months or get an escape with 2.9% APR for 72 months plus up to $1,000 bonus cash. Welcome back. The town of Stonington is celebrating one of Maine's favorite birds with the first ever Puffin Festival. Organizers say it's a chance for people to come and learn about puffins with talks and tours out to areas where the birds gather along the coast. It's also a great opportunity to take in all the sights and sounds of a true fishing town. Starting Friday, the Isla Ho mailboat will be offering trips out to see puffins on Seal Island. And if you can make the first trip on Friday, Maine birder Bob Duchesne will be in town to share a slideshow and more information about what makes, makes puffins so great. Bob and Sandy are such important naturalists for, the, for northern Maine. They're based in Bangor, and they're coming down here to support these efforts because they're such amazing and passionate fans of the puffins. There will be tours and other attractions throughout the weekend. For more information, you can head to our website, foxbangor.com. There are many different ways to beat the heat during this heat wave, but thanks to the Waterville Fire Department, kids in their area got a unique experience to cool off. Waterville Parks and Recreation Department partnered with the fire department to test their fire pumps at the head of the Falls Park. Parents and kids got the chance to come out and run around through the water pump through the fire truck and cool down. Um, it is very uh, strong and cold. Right right in the middle is like the yeah. hardest like pounding and then like the outside is pretty soft. Well at the end of the day these these vehicles belong to the community and uh, puts a, certainly puts a smile on my face seeing the kids run through enjoying uh, this afternoon. Chief Essler added that it was a great experience seeing so many smiling kids will remember this day for a long time. A pretty awesome experience there and just sounds like the ultimate way to cool off on a day like today. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to do it for us here on uh, ABC 7 News at 6. We thank you all for joining us. And remember to join us over on Fox 22 News tonight just after this. And a reminder before we leave you tonight, there is a list of cooling centers in the Bangor and Augusta area on our website, foxbangor.com. So you can check that out there. Good night, everyone.
With so much at stake, so much on the line, more Americans turn here than any other newscast. ABC News, World News Tonight with David Muir, America's number one. Hey, I think that you attacked him in an aggressive, that's my view, well, in an aggressive way, you're, you're getting no money, you're getting no money, you're getting no money. I suggest that you speak to your sister. I suggest that you speak to your Do sister. Not do not do the cat feces next time. Sit in her face. Then not, you might win something. I'm sorry. That's wrong. Thank you. Touch me, Your Honor, but you... We're done. You you're a lot of guys. You're a lot of guys. Parties are excused and they step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And on the next Judge Judy... My opinion's the only one that counts. I always said, this is ridiculous. This has been going on for... Close to 10 years, we're just tired. You know, no, I have no problem with no one else in the neighborhood but those two people. After you just builds up and builds up, we have no animals. I have no idea. I have often wondered why are they like that? Why do I have to deal with the cat feces? So I'm just returning her property. I don't know why you're like that. It doesn't make sense. Just leave me alone. I don't look your way. I got a six foot fence. Stay over there. Leave me alone. To get my behind and move someplace up. She does not exist. She needs to go see a psychiatrist. Fox 22 News, tonight. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Peter Dubois. We are now into day two of a serious heat wave pushing temperatures into dangerous levels across our region. So let's turn things right over to Chase Ropenak to take a first check of our forecast. Thanks, Peter. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Jordan's Furniture. It's not just a store, it's an experience. All right, we're in the middle of a massive heat wave right now. As you can see, we have an excessive heat warning extending from Bangor down to the southwestern part of the state. We do have some severe thunderstorm warnings there as well. Those could arrive in those uh, afternoon to evening hours, and we do have an air quality alert as well, as, uh, as well. So we do have a lot going on in the state of Maine right now. Highs today, just a few degrees below the record high. We had a high of 95 in Bangor today. Very hot temperatures throughout much of the state as well. Lots of mid 90s as we have this heat wave entering the state as of today and it's going to linger into tomorrow as well. So it's